Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to show you some editing tricks uh, while you are writing with voiceover and without voiceover. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, touch my notes area and then I'm going to double touch to activate my edit area. It's going to start reading the whole page and so I'm going to take two fingers and stop voiceover for, from talking so I can actually give you directions. So I'm going to touch. Send it. The and I'll touch, touch. Note. Note. and touch it's it activated and then I take two fingers and stop voiceover from talking. As soon as you double tap voiceover will read everything in this. You can also take two fingers and immediately swipe Note. down Text field. Is editing. and it I my lap. automatically reads your article also. So those two finger touches are great. So the first thing I want to do is I want to move one line at a time. You've got in your rotor, you've got lines, words, and characters, and those are going to help you in your edit mode. So I'm going to turn my dial, just uh, turn it like turning a dial. Words. There's my words. Lines. And there's my lines. Now truly, this is a flick. If you lay your finger on here, you're going to move uh, lines at a time and not necessarily where you want to go. So what you want to do is flip. Truly so flip your finger. You are huddled masses yearning to breath. Misspelled. And voiceover tells you that it's misspelled. So now let's move one word at a time to find out actually what is misspelled. Now I know uh, that in my rotor, lines comes first, words is in the middle, and characters is uh, on the other side of it. So as I turn, words. I'm going in the correct direction, and I'm going to flick and it is a flick or you're going to move lines if you touch your notepad. So flick, comma. oh wrong direction. So I moved up, I want to move Four down. Comma. Your misspelled. Your, it immediately tells me that your is misspelled. So now I need to move to characters. Characters. There's my characters. So I'm going to flick up and move that cursor along one character at a time. R, R, U, O, capital Y. Okay, so it sounds o. good other e. than R. there's two R's. Romeo. So I'm going to uh, place my cursor between the R's. I could also place R. it at the very end. Romeo. And I'm going delete. to delete R. that R. So now I'm going to go back and move one word at a time. Now I know I moved my rotor to the uh, clock counterwise, and so now I'm going to uh, move it clockwise in order to go back to words. words. And there's words. So now I'm going to flick through and listen to my words. Your, poor comma, poor comma, your. Huddled, masses, yearning to breath. Uh, yearning to breath. Now, what you want to know is as you're moving through, your cursor does always end up at the end of the word. But if you're not sure, you need to go to characters and you need to listen. So I'm going to go ahead and go counterclockwise. Free, selected, characters. And move to characters. And it did say selected. Ignore that. It doesn't matter because as soon as you start flicking, you'll go to where you want to go. So I'm going to flick my finger up and move through the word. E. E R F. Now selected free, Six. I know that. H T A E. Okay, so there's breath. A T H. And I know I need to add an E. Now I'm in touch typing mode, so is all I have to do is press and hold my uh, letter down. So if I'm finding my letter, W E. There's E. I press, Echo. hold, and release, and uh, touch typing allows you to do that instead of touch and then double touch. So now I'm going to move one line at a time. I'm going to listen to my sentence. Words, lines. And now I'm going to flick down. Space, free comma. The wretched reviews of your teeming shore. Sendies, the homeless, Tempest Tossed to, misspelled. Okay, Tempest Tossed, that's old English. I'm not going to worry about that. Me comma. I lift my lamp beside the golden door, misspelled. Okay, so now I need to find out what word is misspelled. I know a word is misspelled in there because voiceover told me. Uh, so I'm going to move to words. Words. And there's words, and now I'm going to flick through. Door exclip golden. The. Decide. Lamp. My. Lift. Misspelled. And voiceover tells me that lift is misspelled, so now I'm going to move to characters. Characters. And I'm going to flick through, and I'm going to find out where the misspelled letter is. L. I. F. T. E. Okay, I know. I do not want an E there, so I'm going to go ahead delete. and delete the E. So now I can move to lines. Words. Lines. And flick through to make sure this truly sounds the way I want it to sound. I lift. Me comma. Send these. The homeless. Tempest tossed to. This. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Free comma. Your huddled masses yearning to breathe. Give me your tired. Your poor. And if you are editing, it truly is better to work backwards uh, because when you move forwards as you're editing, 
we automatically insert words into our head that aren't truly there. Or uh, I could have easily bypassed over breathe instead of breath because I've you know written it and I'm thinking I wrote it correctly. Anyway, so there are some great editing tips. Now here is how you will do it if you are just fully sighted and you're not using voiceover. So I'm going to hit my uh, home button three times and turn off voiceover. Voice now if you've misspelled something, you're just all you have to do is press and hold uh, on the word and you can see the cursor moving through because how many times have we written something and that of course we cannot uh, touch it. So let's say I'm trying to get that F uh, in refuge. Uh, it, it, touching where I need it to touch is virtually impossible but if I touch and hold the word I can actually move that cursor exactly where I need to be. So let's say I want to be between the E and the F and then I can just add an A in there. Well, that's not how you spell the word. So let's click off and then go ahead and touch, rehold. And you'll notice I can move uh, that magnifying glass exactly where I want it and I can just hit delete. Uh, so it's incredibly easy if you're sighted, but it's also incredibly easy if you're blind too and you just use those different edit modes. Okay, so try those tricks and see how they work for you. More lessons at yourtechnician.com.